This is an emergency podcast, okay? A virus-free podcast, I have to say. Uh, we're going to focus on technology for once. We're going to focus on influencer for two. Uh, we're going to focus on blockchain influencers, of course, uh, tech influencers, and so on and so forth, right? So this is Starcast Season 1, Episode 4, co-hosted by Dr. Won Kim Hello. and myself, Herman Jumesi from ADMP uh, Virtual Incubator. Dr. Won Kim, of course, from ESC Business School Master. All right, blockchain. Here we go. And what is the name of the startup? Have it. Have it. All right, excellent. So let's get going. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please tell us your name. Uh, my name is Jordan. All right, Jordan. Yeah. Right, Jordan. And uh, where do you live, Jordan? I live in London. London. Okay. So you came all the way from London to Paris. Yes. Uh, for uh, what, what sort of event is it here? Uh, this is uh, the Ethereum Community Conference. Okay, so Ethereum Community Conference. Yes. Okay, ECC. ECC. Yes. yes, very famous. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, third of all time, and it's uh, one of the biggest after DevCon, maybe. Yeah. All right. Okay. One of the biggest after DevCon. You hear that, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you, next time you come to Paris, check for the ECC. ECC right. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So, and how come you're here? You have a company. You have a concept. You have. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm French. So okay. All right. Well, okay. Yeah, First of all, you're French. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's surprise. good uh, to be here. Okay, good to know uh, that. But the, uh, yeah, so our company called AVE. Uh, okay. We are based uh, in London. We have offices in London and in Switzerland. All right, can you spell it? A V? A A V E. A A V E. It All right. Actually, ghost in Finnish. Our founder is Finnish. All right, okay, excellent. Right, impressive. Uh, and it starts with two A, so with everything listed, it's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I can see that. That's clever. And, uh, yeah. It's basically a money market protocol. All uh, right. It's uh, at the infrastructure level on the blockchain. So yeah. the blockchain and then the protocol on top of the Ethereum blockchain. Chain. Okay, money market protocol, yeah, right? Allowing people to uh, deposit and earn passive inter interest, and on the other side, let's say hedge fund who owns, uh, they are they have long positions on tokens, yeah. and they want to borrow against it for their expenses. Uh, they put as collateral, and they can borrow stable coins. Okay, so, from the infrastructure. From the pool, yeah. Uh, from the pool, so right? So people come and deposit uh, their assets, yeah. and some assets are borrowed, and some assets are there, and they accrue interest. Okay, right. So. So what is the technology that you're actually offering you yourself as a company? Okay. You've, you provide the first layer, the second layer, you say? Yeah, so it's a, a smart contract. Smart the, contract, the all right. It's a smart contract which uh, put people together into a pool, yeah. a lending pool, this money market where uh, some wants to earn interest and some wants to borrow. Yeah. And it's actually the evolution of the, the first company that we had was called Eatland. Well, we rebranded. Yeah. And Eatland was more like an OTC marketplace for lending. And we found OTC. It, uh, uh, over the counter. Oh, over the counter, right? Yeah. Marketplace, and yeah. we found that it was uh, difficult to scale with this uh, matching difficulties. And really? I think the, Why? The pool model. Because the the issue was that let's say that you come as a lender, yeah, uh, and you say I have this, I have ten thousand uh, die, ten thousand stable coin, uh, USD worth of stable coin that I want to lend, mm. and I have this, this, those are my terms. This was the way it was working. All right. And basically, while people, while you were waiting for someone to match your terms, mm. uh, your money was just sitting there doing nothing and uh, oh, right, okay. nothing. but you had when you match you had like higher interest higher uh, earnings yeah. but you didn't always uh, have those earnings so the right. pool model allowed to pull all the liquidity together okay. and pull all the uh, borrowing as well together all right okay from, from all the, the member all, all, all the community if you want to so the, okay. the interest is a bit lower yeah. but uh, you start earning right when you deposit of course yeah. earn by the servants. right so that's interesting so it's a pool uh, system that enables you to now loan out uh, either stable coin or what is it Ethereum or yeah you can loan or whatever yeah, yeah you can okay loan. whatever okay yeah people uh, some people are borrowing Ethereum mm -hmm. if you want to short Ethereum you can borrow Ethereum there yeah okay right and so why did you say that you so why where is the layer there I, I can't see the layer really what are you saying layer two layer one why uh, well it's the basically we have the Ethereum blockchain yep and on top of the Ethereum blockchain we have our smart contracts. Uh, technology, okay. uh, which we call the Ave protocol. Right. Uh, and the Ave protocol in itself is actually a factory to create other money markets. So we have the Ave pool, right. which is the first money market created by the Ave protocol. Okay. But we are working with other companies that we 
I'm on soon to have money markets where the collaterals are different. Oh, okay. Example, so you state real estate, you can have. Uh, so it's a template that you can now reproduce exactly. on other for other assets. Exactly. So now you're saying what real estate, and then what estate, what's, what's next? Uh, uh, we are going to experiment as well with a uh, reputation token. Uh, All right. Like this kind of exper- This will be more uh, experiment experimental. Uh, with but also like influencers or sports yeah, people they are, or they tokenize themselves. Yeah, uh, footballers. I can see that. Yeah, because I heard about you've heard about. Uh, sorry, I don't want to interrupt you. Yeah, Dinwiddie. Okay, you know him. All right, okay. So uh, Spencer Dinwiddie uh, and his uh, mis education uh, on the blockchain is, is just amazing, right? He's what what, he, what he's doing is putting his contract onto a smart contract. I mean, come on, explain, yeah, so, please. Yeah. Uh, what he did is that he actually uh, tokenized his uh, smart contract. Oh yeah, he tokenized his smart contract. Token- yeah. So what it means is that he he represented uh, his contract. Yeah. Uh, his contract with the NBA and with his team, uh, and he actually tokenized his career. Yes. So by buying a share of this contract, you actually buy a share of the future earnings right. that he will do in the NBA. Okay. And this has uh, income that will come, and this is typically the kind of assets that could be used in a pool where you would have uh, the reserve will be different players as collateral. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Yeah, definitely. So I can see a uh, I don't know a New York Knicks fan uh, actually you know going out there and, and and betting on on his favorite team, right? But like you said, it's not just one player. You could you could actually do a pool of player. So in a way, you would go back to almost betting or gambling to some extent. No, I don't, I don't know if it's the same. It's actually closer in traditional finance. Yeah. It's closer to a Lombard lending. So lending oh, right, against okay. assets. Usually, Lond- yeah, okay. this, this is when people have gold, commodities, or they any rent shares, and they uh, they are rich in assets before in uh, in cash. Right, and right, right. They have those assets that they don't want to sell. Mm. Uh, let's say you don't work, but you inherited gold from your family. Right. And you go to HSBC, you give the gold, and they lend you 80% of the value of the gold. Right. So let's say now you invested into uh, Dinwiddie mm. uh, smart contracts, and you have those shares. But you, you have maybe uh, one million worth of right. this of this contract. Yeah. But you actually want to, uh, you need liquidity to make other investments. You would put those one million shares as collateral. Yeah. And you you could go against it. You so you this will be always over collateral. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, you have to have assets to borrow. So. Oh, you have to have assets to borrow. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's how it works. So without assets, it, it wouldn't. Anyway, okay. No, it doesn't make sense actually. It needs to be. Uh, yeah. It needs, it needs to be collateralized by something. But you you would take. Yeah, you would bring the assets and then borrow a bigger pot of money. Uh, smaller. Uh, smaller. Let's say that you have Ethereum. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll take uh, an example of uh, how it is right now. All right. So companies who raised money in during the ICO boom three years ago. Okay. Uh, they are they have some of them have a long position on Ethereum, mm-hmm. uh, and but they need stable coins for their daily expenses. Right. So let's say that you have thousand, uh, let's say thousand USD worth of Ethereum. Yeah. Uh, you would be able to. Uh, 750 euros uh, USD worth of uh, right, 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 right. So basically, then you are the lenders on the other side, the depositors in the protocol are protected by this collateral that is uh, over the value of the money. Okay, it has to be over. So okay. now the, you have a network of oracles that are uh, monitoring the prices of the collateral okay. and a network of liquidators that are ready to liquidate instead in, in case the collateral goes down. All right. But that would be interesting to see how how would you build a an oracle for a, an, an NBA player. I mean, how would you go, how would you do that? I mean, uh, that would be more complicated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who would you refer to? I, mean, I the, think it would be the press the case, or the clubs or I don't know. Probably the, 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 the media. The, the, has, uh, the what? The, 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 what? the earnings is the, the earnings. Yeah, I think. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not sure how it would work with the the contract. Right but now the, we only do uh, simpler assets, so crypto. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Crypto. yeah. But since you said that you you want to go into experimental kind of. Uh, uh, area and look at it depends if it's listed for example on exchange then yeah. you can uh, it will be the price of the share of the contract how how they're trading for example sometimes you can have an asset that are trading higher than the underlying value let's okay. say that the people would be if the if this contract the share of this contract are listed on exchange yeah. you could have speculation on people saying like okay this guy in two years will be signing to this bigger team Okay, so the basically the Ethereum blockchain has what we call the atomicity, the way it works. So we can control the way a transaction is supposed to end okay. uh, in simple terms. Yeah. And it means that uh, you can borrow as much as you want from the pool and make 
multiple transaction. Well, it's nest, multiple transaction nested in one transaction. All right, multiple tra transaction nested in inside one, one transaction. transaction. So let's right. say that you want to do an arbitrage between you see you see inefficiency in prices between yeah. two markets. All right, and you, need, you want to do an arbitrage, but you don't have the capital to take the opportunity of that arbitrage. Right. You could flash ball some money, sell that money in one market, then buy on another market. All right, and it will and then you repay. Okay, and if you don't repay at the end, actually the beauty of, of this technology is that if you don't repay, all the transactions that you did get cancelled. By whom? By the the way the Trump blockchain works. All right, okay. So get cancelled like technically it's like yes. it never existed. Okay. So who needs to uh, verify those transactions? It's the miners. Uh, oh, still the miners. Okay. All right. So still. still it's uh, really at the at the low, lowest level. The lowest level. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's interesting. Um, we also have had a, a, a very uh, uh, interesting insight into your, your technology and uh, I mean oh what money markets really can can offer really to the ethereum uh, ecosystem and one of them was uh, the no loss lottery can you break it down for us please yeah so one of the cool things of having a decentralized money market is that anyone can innovate on top of it and it's really we need to think about it as a base protocol that just earn interest and allow some functionality so we can today redirect the interest uh, and this allows you to the no loss lottery case for example let's say that everyone pulls uh, money into yeah a pool. so i put i put what a thousand euros or let's say you put even like 10 yeah. 10 euros 10 euros all right yeah. and we have thousand people putting 10 euros yeah uh, so we have now 10,000 uh, 10,000 euros yeah. in the pool and these 10,000 those 10,000 euros are earning interest right and in def in decentralized finance the interest is accrued uh, per block or per second all right so every 15 seconds or every six seconds different depending on the protocols mm. and basically those this interest is pulled into another pool and each week for example or each day or each year uh, one winner will be picked between all the people who put 10 all right and they will earn the interest of all the pool so actually you came and you only had 10 Yeah. And ten dollar in one week will earn you maybe like five cents. All right. Interest. Okay. But now, since you are earning from, you are winning the interest of all the pools, so you are winning. So the there interest. is a lottery on top of that. Yeah. You are okay. winning the interest yeah. of the ten thousand uh, USD uh, okay. euro that were put into the into that pool. All right. So you only put ten, but then if ten was five cents, then ten thousand is uh, ten times uh, hundred times. All right. Yeah. Uh, ten thousand times. Yeah, it does time. Yeah, so but okay, who, who's running the lottery then? A uh, smart contract. So it's always a smart contract. So there right. is this project called Pool Together. Okay, uh, it's the no loss lottery. So that's one of the things that AAVE is actually looking at. Yeah, uh, basically growing, having more and more. We we don't see each, we don't see ourselves as interacting with the end user. Mm. We really see ourselves as a protocol to have those kind of money markets. Uh, right, right, right. Innovation on top. Okay. So another cool project last week was Eat London, ETH London. Hackathon. All right. uh, out of 50 submission at the end of the hackathon, 17 were project built on top of uh, our protocol. Right. Okay, and one right. of them was also this kind of game where you you would say that you will lock your money for one year, uh, and in the same of no loss, you will lock your money for one year, and if, if before the end of the year you decide to withdraw your money, yep. you actually uh, don't get the interest that your money accrued. So the interest will go to the people that didn't withdraw because they signed up for one year. All right. Uh, and they will stay one year. Okay. You can withdraw at any point, yeah. but if you withdraw before, you don't get the interest. So okay. those who wait one year actually get higher interest than if they were like doing it by themselves. Right. And that's the app that was actually developed on top of your protocol. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wow. That's a, that's amazing. And uh, where are you based? You based in, in the UK or you based in Paris? Uh, I'm personally based in UK. Yeah. Or personally, you based in the UK, but the company? Oh, it's in UK. Yeah. Uh, it's in the UK and Switzerland. Yeah, in Switzerland we right. have uh, mostly our, our developers. I was in Switzerland before, mm -hmm. but now we. Uh, We are in UK and we are closely working with the FCA. We have some uh, some plans on that side, so it's uh, quite exciting as well. All right, okay. So that's going to be the the future of AAV in the fi next five years. It's going to be what developing more money markets, or uh, yeah, do so you plan to expand into something else? We we are working in a protocol that where anyone can create their own money market. Like I was saying, if you want to create a money market today with uh, riskier assets, or if you are doing a business in France and you are tokenizing real estate, you can have now you, the holders of the token or real estate token, maybe they need yeah. more liquidity and 
in the same as Lombard lending, uh, when you get a mortgage, actually, it's, it's the same concept. When you get a mortgage, you, let's say that you have a house, yeah. you want to build a pool, yeah. but you don't have liquidity to build that pool. Okay. You're not going to sell that pool, to sell that house to build a pool. No. You're going to the bank, the bank sees your house, yeah. and like say, okay, this has value, I will lend you the money to build the pool. And it will be the same, like you have those tokens that are real estate tokens, okay. and you put them as collateral, yeah. and you get some money out of it. And if the real estate market, for example, mm -hmm. uh, there is this company called uh, Realty. Realty. Realty, and they they are like uh, doing tokenization tokenization of uh, real estate in the U.S. Yeah. And this is actually like what they will provide with using the other protocol. Uh, oh, they're doing it with your protocol. Oh, not at the moment. Okay. Uh, but th this is something that they. That's the sort of things that you would offer. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. So you're definitely a business facilitator. Uh, well, tokenization facilitator. Uh, we don't tokenize ourselves. You don't tokenize, all right. Basically, but if you are doing a business with uh, tokenization, there is a chance that your business, uh, your the users that you have might want to get some liquidity out of the assets that they are right. holding. Okay. So it can even be, uh, this is one of the crazy things in blockchain is that everything is composable. So yeah, today course, yeah. we have also a lot of games yeah. uh, tokenizing assets, in-game assets. Mm -hmm. And you could have also, you could imagine that people, for example, Fortnite, Fortnite is yeah. a billion dollar. I can see that, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have those assets that right now they are not owned by the user. Yeah, but of course. Based on blockchain, all the assets that people are buying mm. will be owned by the users. So and they the worth user, something. And they worth something. So yeah. the user could uh, put their assets that they have within even the game. And if someone say thinks that they have value as well, they could use that as collateral. Right. To so the the future, the next five years, it's uh, impossible to predict. Because, impossible uh, to predict, <laughs> especially with the blockchain, right? Yeah. It's going all over the place. I knew it. What's going on? Uh, you'll be a billionaire, right? <laughs> okay, and you invite me to your swimming pool party. All right, okay, because, okay good. All right, so, um, well, it was an emergency podcast. Uh, thank you again for coming. Uh, I'm just going to ask my uh, colleague and his team uh, co-host, Dr. Wong Kim, if he wanted to ask anything. No, I'm fine. Uh, You're fine? Okay. We have to go. We have to go. Okay, then. Uh, so, that was us, uh, StarCast Season 1, Episode 4 at the ECC. Uh, we had our great friend and gentleman from AAVE, Mr. Jordan. Jordan. Fantastic. I love the name. Thank you play basketball? I did. <laughs> oh, great, great, great. All right. He plays basketball. Look at him. So he's a, he's a, he's a great guy, all right? And uh, definitely uh, do invite you to come down to the ACC and have a look at what's going on. Uh, okay. This was Herman Jumessi and uh, Dr. Wang Kim. We are leaving the space. But before leaving the space, we're going to remind you who we are and what we do. So please, Dr. Wang Kim, can you talk about your endeavor, please? Yes. Uh, this is part of the Masters Blockchain, the first Masters of Blockchain in France. And um, and you can find us at the master with an E dot E S C E dot F R. Okay, and me, my name is Herman Jumessi, and I'm um, founder of the virtual incubator ADMP. And the website is, of course, www.admp awards, A W A R D S dot B's. Do you have a website, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Or can you say it? Com. Yeah, AAVE.com. Yeah. Fantastic. That's a great website. Everything about, oh man, come on. Anyway, so uh, thank you again for listening to us. Uh, don't forget to listen, like, share, and talk about it to all your friends around you. Thank you very much again. Have a nice day, and we shall see you again. This was an emergency podcast, StarCast. We're the best. Bye-bye. Wow.